I'm going to make a little video here about issues with scooter variators. So one thing you want to look for is you want to know on your bikes what RPMs it takes to go certain speeds. So that way if you're having problems with your CVT you'll be able to easily identify the cause. So typically on a butt on a 150 to go 50 miles an hour the bike will be at about 7500 RPMs. So if you're cruising along and you notice on your tack now this is a little hard to notice on a bike that doesn't have a tack I guess you'll probably just um, top out at a lower speed on say a 50cc that doesn't have a tack but if you know that your speed is going down you're not able to get up to say 50 say you can only go 40 then you look at your RPMs if you have to get up to 7500 to 8000 RPMs just to barely go 45 miles an hour then there's something wrong with your CVT and that could be a number of things the best way to find out what's wrong with the CVT is to take it apart here's a picture of one here these little slider insert things here you want these are plastic and they can break easy you want to make sure that they're not broken otherwise this plate will be crooked at an angle and then the belt will stay pinched in a higher ratio which might cause you acceleration issues then you got your rollers you want to make sure there's no flat spots on the rollers sometimes even if the rollers don't look that bad putting in new rollers will give you back the speed that you lost and another thing you want to check is the belt if the belt's been in there a while or if it's a cheap stock belt it's not a Kevlar belt then they, uh, they get thinner over time and they won't go down as far they won't be able to expand the clutch as far to get to that higher gear ratio to be able to go the higher speeds so you might notice too that way that the RPMs are going a lot higher but the speed is a lot lower than normal so if, if you change your belt and you still are getting the same thing you're not getting your top speed then you want to check your rollers in the variator and also check the fan part in the variator which isn't in this picture but check that make sure it's not the aluminum fins aren't damaged or anything and then you can even just get some uh, aluminum polish and clean it up you know make it shiny clean the surfaces if they're dirty clean inside here where the rollers go even some people put grease inside of this part here only in this part here though and you could even put some grease on the little guides the little plastic guides to help the plate move back and forth easier um, I don't see this information online anywhere and I recently learned this information so I want to share it with whoever sees this video and also I'm gonna include a video on here after I done talking with me on my bike revving up my bike and so you can see how the CVT is supposed to work Oh.